senior men's FAS from Columbia University, Brian Rowe. Uh, Brian, you didn't fence this weekend, but uh, you've had an incredibly strong career at Columbia University. Last year, being uh, taking away bronze here at, at NCAAs. Right now, Jake Hoyle just defended his national championship, takes home number two. The excitement from Columbia was huge. What are you feeling as, as his teammate? Yeah, I just couldn't be happier for him. Uh, I don't think it's settled in yet. It hasn't quite hit me, but it definitely will be. And I know that I'm just going to probably be in tears, but I'm just so happy right now, especially just to be able to share this time with my teammates. It's just like the most grateful thing that has ever happened to me. So. Now, you know, from a fan's perspective, uh, you know, looking at Columbia and the, the, the number of people that you bring, the number of... Uh, teammates that you bring, the, the amount of energy that we can hear from Columbia. You know, it sounds like your excitement for Jake and excitement for the squad is very representative of the team as a whole. Is that true? Yeah, definitely so. Um, we, uh, no one told, the coach didn't make all this come. It wasn't like a mandatory thing. Um, but everyone on the team decided to come for at least, you know, the last two days or at least for some of the days. And I think it really speaks to how much spirit our team has. And I just love, it's, it's not really a team, it's more of a family. And families don't miss these kind of opportunities. So I think it, it definitely doesn't surprise me that everyone showed up because it just speaks to how much we all care about each other. Now, definitely a family. Great way to capture it. That it's, it's Yes, it's a team, but even more than that, it's a family. Now, a lot of people in, in your position, uh, you know, in, in other teams, might not have that, that, that same sentiment, especially for, for, you know, a teammate on the same squad. Now, you, last year, could have been argued, were the best guy in the country. Whether it was you or Jake advancing out of that semifinal bout, one of you guys was definitely on pace to win. That support last year, just as strong as this year. Tell us about your friendship with Jake off the strip. Yeah, so I feel like I've known Jake for a really long time, but honestly, I only met him freshman year. Um, we didn't room with each other, but we spent a hell of a lot of time together, and it's just blossomed then. Um, just over the past four years, it's just been an honor to be able to call him my friend, and we do almost everything together. We're pretty much inseparable, and um, yeah, we, we feed off each other. So yeah, it's definitely... Um, He's definitely my, one of my best friends. In, a, in an interview last year with Jake, he said almost verbatim the same thing of you and how really that national title is, is largely due to you pushing him you know, in, in the room every day and that, that friendship, pushing him in the tournament you know, to, to kind of get to that level and that both of you could have won the title then. This year we look at kind of the same situation. You up and down with, with some injuries back and forth. Uh, and and still committing to kind of this number one team goal that we hear over and over that really supersedes the individual goals in most situations. How is it for you in your senior year to to be here as a spectator and not on the strip? Yeah, it's definitely, well, it's definitely a different type of vibe because usually um, when I am competing in NCAAs, I still am cheering with the other squads, but I have to kind of reserve because I know I have to, you know, kind of maintain my energy as well. But being purely a, a spectator this time around, I definitely was able to just give all my 100% support, um, just give the biggest advantage to all my teammates who are competing. And I just feel, I feel that, you know, at this level, we're all really strong and everyone can win, but I think it comes into those little things. Um, just having that relationship, that really brings it to the next level. And I think that that was the key to Columbia's success. Absolutely. Well, it's very apparent in your excitement and giving it your all and your voice. Brian, what's next for you? Well, so I don't think I'll be competing um, in fencing. I definitely can't stay away from the sport. Um, but, yeah, in terms of my competition career, that is probably ended. But I will definitely be fencing sometime in the near future. All right, Brian, well, congrats on a very successful career, uh, team-wise, individually, and thank you.